um, Bandcamp has had a bit of a resurgence during COVID. Um, I'm assuming people have a lot more interest in buying directly from their favorite artists and essentially trying to provide them with as much of the cut of the money as possible. As you guys know, streaming services pay artists like you know fractions of a penny on the amount of streams that they get which results in them having to rack up a very high number of streams or to get any sort of sustainable funds out from those streaming platforms so Bandcap have come around and created a model that pays out i think the highest amount of portion per buys whatever it may be because you pay yeah, you pay per whatever track or album you're paying and the percentages are way more high so of course there's been a whole um you know slew of attention on Bandcamp, and they've decided to expand their services by providing a live streaming segment or platform or feature or tool on their platform which looks pretty great and a very very cool natural extension from the great stuff that they've been doing throughout so this is courtesy of Bandcamp. says so the following ticketed live streaming comes to Bandcamp. it says here today we're announcing Bandcamp live a new ticketed live streaming service that makes it easy for artists to perform for and connect with their fans and for fans to directly support the artists they love. Bandcamp Live is simple to set up even if you've never streamed before. It's fully integrated within the rest of Bandcamp. Amazing already. I already thought you're going to require artists to get you OBS and get audio interface. That'd be annoying, but it's already all integrated. Great. This has several benefits. We automatically notify your fans when you announce a show. It is to buy a ticket. What since you many people already have a banker and camp and save credit card and new buyers become your followers and have the option to join your mailing list. Great. You can also showcase your music and merchandise right alongside your stream in a virtual merch table. How sick is that? I've always said DJs really miss an opportunity. Even now during the lockdown, there's not enough DJs who are doing live streams and also kind of putting merch up to the camera or putting a buy now link. Everyone's sort of waiting for donations. And because for the most part, if you're a DJ, you're not going to make any money on your live stream anyway because you're playing other people's copyrighted music and you should be making money on it anyway because you're paying for other people's music. So if you are going to make money, sell like knickknacks sell zines um sell other miscellaneous items that you make you know some apparel whatever it may be but you can just do that during a set and i've always said even in club sets i would be more than willing to give my imagine that innovations label night that i went to in fold last year right and um you know innovations guys bought a box of t-shirts right uh and gear long sleeves whatever they sell right beer mats uh you know vinyl mats whatever after this gig i'd much rather pay for it in person than have to wait a few days for it to be shipped over from the eu or something i'd do it gladly so i'd, I'd much rather more people do that but i know some artists feel a little bit away about doing it it feels a bit disgusting so maybe having it just fully integrated within the bank camp site and it just being some feature you see on the side you can click on makes it a little bit easier to do for some people it continues um blah, 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 blah. bank cap live also feature an optimal an optional chat option where your fans can discuss the show and you can engage with your community purchases from the merch table appear in the chat driving more sales great to see that so it's all like you know some websites where they say at the bottom so and so bought this item it can be a bit annoying but i get the idea right because some people do react quite well to that sort of stuff it continues here finally pricing is completely transparent we don't pretend our ticket pricing is free and then surprise our fans with a convenience fee then when they check out your you set your ticket price to whatever you want and that's what your fans are charged our fee is 10 percent, and we're waiving it entirely until march 31st 2021 which is great right so they're trying to get as many people on it as possible to get you know to ramp up the engagement and then hopefully after march people are still going to be hanging around because i'd imagine some djs out there especially the ones that have been streaming a lot during lockdown or artists in general i'd imagine once stuff reopens as much as you're going to be chomping at a bit to get in front of a live audience you're still going to want to have some uh, option to allow fans that aren't there to see your show now whether or not it's going to be possible with the promoters you're working with is another thing but i'm sure a lot of people especially now that you've bought yourself a webcam you've got a gopro you've you've hooked up yourself up to obs you've got used to you know working these streaming platforms like restream whatever it may be there's an aspect or there's an understanding i think there should be some of it where you should be able to take some of that stuff and apply it to your live show i'd love to see that that'll be awesome like you could somehow simultaneously see your favorite artists go all the way from like gathering their records gathering their equipment from the from the beginning of the day all the way until they're set maybe just stream maybe even maybe it's just the first half an hour whatever it may be live via instagram would be flipping amazing i'd love to see that 
And um, it continues here. When the pandemic eliminated a major source of musicians' income, we immediately began working on a new ways to, for the help the artists and labels at Bandcamp, without whom we would not exist. We started with Bandcamp Fridays, a day each month where we waive our revenue share, and so far those have raised 35 million in just eight days. Amazing. And um, that is in addition to the 126 million fans have raised um, for artists via Bandcamp. Bandcamp Live is the next step in our effort to help our community thrive during the crazy time. Streaming will never replace the experience of impact performances we believe it's the next best thing and will provide artists with a powerful tool to help build connect with their fans both now and when COVID is behind them again this is why oh uh, we started rolling out bank up lives today and we'll be bringing more artists in the coming months wow look at these ticket events they've got chris fire and breen who would i recognize on here not many people in it bobby bobby or as um, and re i mentioned i recognize cloud nothing's i recognize so yeah a few bands on there again it's a best way to probably support your artists directly definitely get on board there i think it's an incredibly great idea very creative very innovative and hopefully it'll be something that we'll see a lot of artists take control take advantage of you know direct sales ticketed via bank camp if you've got a small audience if you've got a small fan base and they want to support you this is the best way possible set your tickets at like five dollars whatever it may be it's way more money there you're going to be getting any other way anyway regardless of if it's only a streaming platform do it make it work i can't wait to see what people do 